Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on March 6th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, anything that is affecting humanity. Still looking at a very quiet sun surface right now, two quiet active sun spot regions outgoing. Looking here, incoming images the last 48 hours we saw that incoming sunspot eject a couple flares looking outgoing those two sunspots seem to be pretty quiet for little guys also looking at some plasma filaments lifting and erecting here incoming looking at another light no large plasma filaments to talk about and also no large coronal holes to talk about as the earth facing coronal hole has diminished and is now outgoing small coronal hole building on the left side there looking here at our magnetosphere the last 12 hours as you can see it has picked up we're over 500 kilometers per second right now our solar wind speeds and this was to be expected and forecasted. Looking here at the real-time solar X-ray flux, geomagnetivity low, and as well the planetary KN index low three. Looking at a Schumann resonance for today, a power of 30. I don't understand what that blackout means. A base frequency of 7.83, quality power of 28, power amplitude of 30. Not really sure what it means there when it says a blackout. Looking here at earthquakes the last 24 hours, still looking at a very busy planet. Starting out here most recently in Alaska, Valdez 3.2, quiet across the North American plate. Hawaii seeing a lot of activity, especially Mauna Loa. Most of these earthquakes have been on the, the west side of the island towards Mauna Loa. And as well, the east rift of Kilauea. So definitely seeing some action there in the Pacific, West Pacific here, the deepest trench on the planet, Mariana's Trench, the Mariana Islands are seeing lots of sizable earthquakes today, largest being a 5.7, as well looking at a 5.1 there in South Japan Islands. 5.2 here, Atual, Indonesia, heads up, 12 volcano residents, as well 5.3 Papua New Guinea, and look at Kermadec and New Zealand still going off and large earthquakes like not just your regular threes and fours New Zealand's seeing all the fours Kermadec Islands all the fives and sixes wow looking here at one lonely earthquake South America 4.7 Peru as well Dominican quieting down 5.2 recorded here in Volker Iceland as well a 4.4 in Greece, and a rare earthquake today on the African plate, a 5.2 in Fogomogo, Africa, Fogomu, as well, pretty deep earthquake there in Afghanistan, and as well 4.3 Tajikistan. So that's the last 24 hours for quakes, still watching the major activity across New Zealand and up into the Kermadec Islands, deep trench movement you gotta wonder what's going on and what new zealand is going to look like in the future looking here the last seven days still a lot of erected elevated rings going through a deep earthquake movement right now deep earthquake event 
and and that's pretty sure that's why we're seeing all these large quakes through Kermadec. But I mean, these deep quakes are popping up on every continent right now. Rare earthquake in Africa. And continuing seismicity, worrisome seismicity through Iceland for some residents. Looking here at the Pacific Disaster Center, most recent volcanoes to update. Sabancaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador, Venimianov in the United States, that's right, Aleutian Islands, as well as Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Pacaya, Guatemala, uh, Rung, Indonesia, Raventador, Semeru, Sabancaya. So that's about 13, 14 volcanoes being updated as well, as well Popo and Era in Japan. So yeah, very active volcanoes, very active planet. And we have three tropical cyclones. One has since diminished tropical cyclone Niran, which quickly raced and swept across New Caledonia overnight as it did gain strength to a Category 5 cyclone yesterday morning, and then as it raced across land, quickly diminished to now a tropical depression. But a very fast-moving storm after we saw solar winds pel pelting the Earth over 600 kilometers per second for almost two days. Looking here, Cyclone Marion, as it looks like it is diminishing... Well, losing its moisture anyway, it seems the center of the low is hanging out in the same spot. Cyclone Marion has been around for almost 10 days now, and we could see it keep alive here in the next few days. Watch for the five-day forecast. Tropical Cyclone Habana is well alive and is scurrying through the middle of the Indian Ocean, heading towards Madagascar. So watch out Mauritius and parts of Reunion Island. You will see Tropical Storm Habana heading towards you in the next three days. As well, you have a system coming right off of Madagascar right now for parts of Reunion. So heavy rains and storms for that small island of Reunion. And last year they were devastated by uh, cyclones. So thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected there. And those are the major systems to talk about on the planet right now. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by MeteorEarth and Meteor Mike. We're going to start out here, of course, always home base, Calgary, Alberta. As yes, very cold nights and semi-seasonable days as that Pacific low is hanging around. As soon as that moves southward, though, those cold temperatures are going to be coming in behind it. Winter is not over yet for Canada, that's for sure. But it may feel like spring in some parts of the United States and eastern Canada later in the week. Don't expect it to last long. Those cold temperatures still hanging out. Northwest Territories, the Yukon, straight into the Great Plains. So for weather, still pretty dry across the states except for later in the week. Watch for this Colorado low to, to develop and head into the Great Lakes region. And watch for a mass evaporation as those warm temperatures come through. Tropical moisture. It's going to be an interesting situation across the Great Lakes in the five-day forecast. Parts of Atlantic Canada clearing out from that snowstorm. It's been hanging around for days. Atlantic Ocean producing here quite a big storm heading towards the United Kingdom. And Ireland, parts of Ireland in the long-range forecast big system here you guys could see some tropical system winds and rain with that system overlooking europe cool temperatures are going to be hanging around mostly central and eastern as that large blizzard moves through the border with russia as well watch for extreme weather to break out here parts of northern iraq and iran into afghanistan Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains to continue through the week. Nothing major to talk about, except for the heat throughout parts of Somalia. And as well, oh, overlooking here, the tropical cyclones in the Indian Ocean. Watching that one diminish and 
Habana gained strength towards Mauritius. So heads up Mauritius. As well, I said here, watch for the long range forecast, Marion to survive. You can see it just kind of loses moisture, but the low pressure center is still there. Deep, lower level troughs. And that's what we're seeing all around the planet with our collapsed magnetosphere. Looking here at over Australia, seasonable, and then a bunch of rain moving in here to parts of southeastern Australia, up into Queensland, Melbourne, Brisbane. And then, yeah, tropical cyclone moves away from Caledonia quickly yesterday. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains could be heavy towards Colombia and as well the border with Brazil recently has not stopped. Panama too, you could see some extreme weather later in the week. And then some big systems here affecting southern Argentina. Five-day forecast, you guys could see quite a bit of moisture and snow along the coastal regions, South America. Going to leave it here, looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the big systems that it will be affecting us in the future. I appreciate you all tuning in. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Much love. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.